Hey everybody, welcome back. We're going to be continuing through the album by Swans called The Seer. Um, yeah, I don't even really want to talk. I just want to get right into it. So if you're new here, uh, we're, we're doing the whole album, so I'd recommend check, starting with the first video if you want. But my name is Daniel, and here we react to music. That's all you need to know. Let's get into it. Three, two, one, The Seer. We also do research at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that if you're interested. This is a 30 minute long song. I'm excited. Let's go. What is that instrument playing right now? It sounds like bagpipes.
almost hypnotic. They put me in a trance. really cool. Terrifying, but really cool.
really cool.
right, so another drum is coming in. That'll be the only time I pause it, and I think we're probably going to slowly pick back up here. Um, do you guys know or have any idea if those little sounds are perhaps the the guitar strings being plucked past where they're supposed to be up near the the top of the guitar? Is that the top? Yeah. Never know what all the names of the guitar are. And I've pl been playing guitar for years and still don't know what all the names for everything are. But, um... Yeah. Um, so, yeah, still like it, still love the atmosphere, the crushing brutality of it. It's, uh, it's a very challenging listen, though. Um, so far, there's been a few sections, uh, especially with this song so far, where a, a very there's a lot of repetition going on, um, which I think is uh, something that I will need to get used to as we continue through the uh the record um because that seems to be something that they have used a lot in every song so far um where they do a lot of repetition and then they slowly add and build upon whatever you know riff or whatever that they're playing and they'll speed it up and then they'll slow it down and then they'll add more and more and more stuff into it and take it away and it'll rise and swell and get back to being narrow and like jamming into you and then this this crushing force is upon you um yeah and then there'll suddenly be like an abrupt transition and then we'll go into something else and there's always some sort of like release they seem to be masters of tension and release so i hope that by the end of this song um after you know uh we, we come to some exploding crescendo we kind of already had that with the heavy section but I want it to happen again. Let's keep going. Sorry for talking so long. All the way in the back, I can hear another drum coming in.
to three now.
harmonica in here now. I love the range of instruments as well. So sorrowful. Dripping sounds like we're in a cave. That bass is familiar. Are we playing Skyrim or what? Because that's, that's what it sounds like now. <laughs> A little. Do that to me. Hell yeah. Sweet release.
Love the bass. Just notice it, really. But, like, focus on it. Okay then, <laughs> that's the seer. I don't think I've ever listened to music that has made me feel the the feelings this has, and yet I'm fairly certain I'm addicted to it already. So that's something. Let's take a look at the comments. Um. The song makes me think of the sheer immensity of what existence holds for such a small mind as mine. I cannot imagine what it would be truly like to see it all. The song's actually only three minutes long. You are imagining the rest. Yeah. Someone wrote some Lovecraftian gibberish here. Um, Swan's the seer. Oh, there's six parts of this? Is this how he... Is that official or just your take on it? I haven't seen it described like that before. My take on it. All right, just your take. Cool. The flashback, the hap the beginning, the happening, the incident, the aftermath, the revolution. It's pretty cool. I never thought a harmonica could sound sinister. Yeah. This whole song feels like I'm fighting the final boss of the universe. There's a right way to write a lengthy symphonic song, let alone a captivating one. Swans redefined the principle set by the 70s prog scene, and it sure is refreshing. Tool, Porcupine Tree, Marillion, many more. I've listened to them all, and here Swans has truly surpassed them all. This has become my favorite post-apocalyptic song, and I only discovered Swans three days ago. Yes, felt extremely apocalyptic. I love it. Um, especially since the um, uh, music that I've uh, been making myself I want to add a touch of a sound of like apocalyptic so this is super inspirational to me as well so yeah when that blast of heavy noisy as hell guitars come in at 939 mark 1139 mark of this song at that point the song turns into one of the heaviest things I've ever heard now this is what I consider to be brutal music I've listened to death metal and like like the super super aggressive crazy stuff with the super guttural vocals with bands with names like cannibal corpse and infant annihilator before um not regularly but like i've heard songs by them 
And, uh, yeah, those things never really hit me hard. They just felt harsh in a way that wasn't um, compelling to me personally. Uh, this made me feel the way I thought those things would. This is definitely brutal music, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. This is brilliant, but I had to bail out. It definitely hints that my days of living with only some external speakers on my computer instead of a true audio setup may be coming to a close. I went to a bowling alley and bought five plays of this on the jukebox. The staff reset it and cleared the playlist halfway through play to... <laughs> Hypnotic chaos done right. Wow. Yeah. I so want to just read every comment under this. I don't know why I enjoy this or why I'm not completely disturbed by the image or why my circulation improves while I listen, but I'll take it. This song is a masterpiece. I'm not even really a post-rock fan, but holy crap, is this addicting. Man. Man. And these comments are from, like, months ago to years and years and years ago. Yeah. The series about the journey through the abysses of truth and coming out with love in your heart. The song makes my third eye pulse. I personally visualize the seer as an entity in the forest that has four decaying deer heads and a long, complex horn, its body made up of various earth matter growing and decaying at the same time. The seer can... The truth, the seer can the truth in reality, can see the truth in reality, and this song is a person meeting the entity and giving the truth, but the truth is too much grim, dreadful, and chaotic. That's actually a really good interpretation of it. All right, the, um, oh, that's the wrong song. Wait, what was the, wait, why is, I'm confused. This says Wolf is the next song. But on this playlist, this was the next song, right? Let me make sure I'm not going insane. Lunacy, Mother of the World, then The Seer. And this is on their official YouTube page. Where's Wolf? There is no song called Wolf on here. Am I missing something? And this has one, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This has eleven tracks on Genius. And then the uh, playlist I'm looking at also has one unavailable video is hidden. Damn, am I missing a song? The Wolf. Um... Jeez, I feel like I've got to listen to this. It's not on, is it not on YouTube? Really? And this was an intro to the, uh, damn, that actually makes me kind of annoyed, but whatever. I guess I'll go back and check that out really quick. It says it's a short song, almost an intro to this one. So The Seer is a monstrous 32-minute title track off of their gigantic 2012 double album. The song itself is preceded by The Wolf and followed by The Seer Returns, which features former Swans member Jar Bo. How could so few words be so epic, indecipherable obscenities? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is that... I see it all. Yeah, so we literally... It's just that... in ridiculously evocative and crushing and terrifying apocalyptic sounding music and then a seer similar to an oracle is someone who's able to see the future through their supernatural insight gira is lyrically putting himself in the place of the seer and like a seer he sees everything the future holds or possibly gira has actually achieved sagehood in the philosophic sense and is trying to communicate his state of mind to the common people through an artistic medium I see it all, I see it all, I see it all, I see it all. I love you too much, I love you too much. Sun. The common mind, the coal in my mouth. A godlike figure would treat the creatures he sees below him as a son. I love you too much. There's a coal in my mouth. 
so few words and yet so much is being said or at least specifically that so much is being evoked um yeah all right well this ended up being a over 40 minute long video on my part so thank you very much for joining me um yeah apologies that the order was um screwed up i'm going to try to fix that but you know i'll try to upload them in the right order but still that's annoying all right um <laughs> I should put a warning at the beginning of this video, but I'm not going to. It was, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for joining me. <laughs>